what am I trying to get out of the audience? Just to get them to laugh. It's just how I prefer to do it. I'm not trying to make a point. I'm not trying to make them enlighten them or change the world. I just see something in the news that catches my fascination and I talk about it and they either laugh or they don't laugh. Not a big fan of these uh, cult groups. I saw this one group downtown, uh, uh, Jews for Jesus. You seen these people, Jews for Jesus? Guy walks up, hands me a pamphlet, says, what do you think? And I said, hey, seems like a fair trade. Being older as a comic is a detriment. You get industry people discarding you quickly because, well, you're older, you know. Uh, I'm looking for somebody who's younger and prettier, but how about somebody who's funny? Groucho Marx said that comics hit their uh, level when they're in their 40s and 50s simply because that's when they're starting to live their lives and they have a lot of experience behind them. And they can draw on that experience to craft better material, deeper material, funnier material. Four out of every five Canadians drink, that's true. Fifth guy was too hammered to finish your questionnaire. <laughs> I drank in uh, university. Oh, I didn't go to university, I should uh, be honest. I went to uh, York. And uh, <laughs> any comic you see, it's an abstraction of what they really are. It's them amplified. It's, it's a part of who you are. But it's not a, a real part. It's a character you're playing. Most comics, especially me, are shy and would do anything to avoid large groups, which is ironic, because we'll get up in front of a, a, an audience and we'll tell jokes. And of course, it occurred to me that's because we're in control. I remember the first time I ever had sex, I remember thinking to myself, boy, when she wakes up, <laughs> thank God my sister is a heavy sleeper. You know, the interesting. <laughs> It's a joke. Obviously, she's a light sleeper, you know, come on. My wife woke up last night out of a sound sleep and punched me in the head because I was flirting with somebody in a dream she was having. I may have been doing a bit for 20 years and finally say it the right way on stage and think it only took me 20 years to figure out how to do that joke correctly. So, well, folks, I got to tell you, I've had a great time and, and not tonight, but I, I've been here where <laughs> No, you guys, a lot of fun. Thanks for listening. Take care. See you again soon. Have a good night. Comedian picked me up at my house once to do a gig. We were doing a week at some club. And he said to my wife, so, uh, what did we tell you about last night? What do you mean? About the show. He said it was all right. He, he got an encore. He destroyed. Like, it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And you asked him how you went, and he said, yeah, it was all right. And she said, but that's what he always says. And that's what I always say, whether I did well or I don't do it. It was all right. I don't take it as seriously anymore. I think probably the best joke that I thought I ever wrote was after the Super Bowl when Justin Timberlake grabbed um, Janet Jackson's breast and my joke was well it's nice to see a kid grabbing a jackson for a change <laughs>